And then let's first talk about solvents. Solvents are additives that gives you flow capability between particles to enable fluidity and dissolve additional additive. You are binder, you are dispersant to achieve certain mechanical real, rheological behavior. Mechanical behavior, quite often rheological behavior. Viscosity. How do you how fast do you want your slurry to flow? Okay. How fast do you want your page to, to, to change shape? And disperse particle additives uniformly. These are solvents. The most common solvents would be obvious water, cheap H2 one. Okay. Low cost, the advantage very clear. Low cost, safe, non-toxic, right? Water and environmentally friendly. It's we try to use water as a solvent in most cases, whenever possible. Okay. And it's good solvent for polar substance, ionic compound. If you have non-polar additives, water quite often doesn't dissolve them very well. Okay. And the boiling point uh, 100 degrees C, not too high, not too low. Melting point 0 degrees C. The surface tension, water compared with many other solvents are pretty high. Water is a high surface tension liquid compared with ethanol, compared with oil. High surface tension liquid uh, for certain things. High dielectric constant, okay? Low viscosity, relatively low viscosity. pH neutral. Okay, not acidic, not basic as a solvent. When highly pure, the conductivity is this one. And the harness due to the what? Dissolve the inorganics. The salt, the, the electrolytes dissolve in it. Okay, harness of the water. Total dissolved uh, solids can be estimated based on conductivity for inorganic material, dissolved inorganic material, okay? Imperial, these are just empirical equation. And the filtration or, or ion exchange could purify water to remove the extra ion like calcium, which is pretty abundant. Like in Florida, the, the all your groundwater contains so much calcium in it, okay? And the people would also, even though it's cheap, for industry production, people still try to recycle the water, reuse them whenever possible, whenever it's economically um, feasible. For example, for grinding polishing, you find, okay, the water goes in there and settle, and in principle, you can, the clear water can be cycled back for cleaning. You don't have to use fresh water for all your cutting. Make sense? This, for cooling, for your cutting, grinding, the same old slurry can be reused and reused. Okay. So after talking about water aqueous solvent, uh, then we are going to talk briefly about organic solvents. Okay. What is this? Oh yeah, alcohol, ethanol, the most common solvent that people often use. Okay. And um, these types of label blue for health, which means okay, not very good for your health. And uh, the red for where, where, whether it's a fire safety hazard, and uh, the yellow is for reactivity. Not very reactive for for ethanol, but a fire hazard. You can burn. It can explode depending on the condition. Okay, the there are many disadvantages for organic solvents compared with water. First one, of course, most of them are so-called flammable or even explosive. If you are not careful, you may make an explosion. Okay. And most of them, most of the organic solvents are, as you are day-to-day -day experience, volatile and quite often give out, gives off vapor that has certain smell with it. Yeah. Uh, odors, those things, when they are very light, you, you smell them to be pleasant, but when they are strong, you, very bad. Unlike water vapor, water vapor when the it's strong, like a lot of water vapor bathroom, you don't feel kind of like so irritating. But most of organic solvent, if they are high concentration, very irritating, and most often are hazardous. Okay, and 
most of them, actually most of them, are toxic and difficult to dispose. You mix the organic solvent into the aqueous water, and you find they are going to kill a lot of like uh, aquatic lives. Okay, and uh, quite often they are way more expensive than water, way more expensive. Compared, especially for industrial scale water, they are way more expensive. Um, the organic solvents. Okay. However, people do have to use organic solvents for special cases. For example, if the ceramic powder are water reactive or water sensitive, right? Some of them containing barium, they they like water. They like water too much. They are going to be reactive with water, or they are sensitive to water. Lithium ion battery. When you if you are going to process Traditionally, people want to avoid water because otherwise, if you do not dry them sufficiently, it's going to cause trouble in your batteries. Okay, gassing, all that types of problem. And uh, people also use organic solvents if they want to achieve very high solid loading. This is related to the low surface, lower surface tension for all these organic solvents, which they can wet the particles better. They, some of them also have lower viscosity compared with water. So as a result, we can achieve to very high solid loading for some of these organic um, solvents. And for special applications that require either higher solvent boiling point. Which means, like for screen printing, most cases people are not using water as a solvent because the your slurry is going to dry on your screen, quickly clog your screen, and difficult for the su subsequent operation. That's why we have to use high boiling point solvent for screen printing, so that I do not quickly clog the solvent, do not quickly leave the system, that I clog the screen. I need to print hundreds, thousands, or tens of thousands print before I wash them, before I clean them. Okay, so for those, you have to use organic solvent. Water boiling point is 100 degrees C. It's going to dry in front of you. But for some of the organic solvents, we can have boiling point above 200, which means at ambient temperature, they dry extremely slowly or almost never. Okay, and uh, sometimes we need a better wetting. For electronic application, for thin film, like I need a very good wetting of my film onto a substrate. For those cases, we want organic solvent quite often. And uh, sometimes we need faster drying. Unlike screen printing, you, you do not fast dry, you do not want fast drying, but for certain applications for tape casting, when you cast a, a slurry onto a thin tape, you want that thing to relatively dry faster as opposed to water. You want you don't want you want to accelerate your productivity. For those, you want faster evaporation and the water only 100 degrees C. You want something that has boiling point below 100 degrees C. So that higher vapor pressure, okay, so that you can dry faster. And uh, avoid contamination or electrical shorting. Water for electrical circuit is a nightmare, right? It can easily contaminate by salt and cause shorting everywhere. But if we are doing electronic application, quite often we want to avoid water. And uh, however, despite all these advantages or use for solvents, the general trend is in industry quite often they start with organic solvent for certain application, but they are gradually moving towards aqueous as people know how to better process, how to better control. For example, the lithium ion battery. Electrode, some of the companies are moving towards at least the certain steps going to aqueous based processing because it's much cheaper and environmentally friendly. You don't have to dispose all the uh, waste chemicals. Okay, here we list the properties for some common solvents, including water. We list what? Dielectric constant, surface tension, which means how well the solvent will be wetting will wet the substrate okay the lower the surface tension it has a greater tendency to wet the substrate viscosity okay depends sometimes we want the low viscosity for slurry sometimes we want high visc higher viscosity for screen printing we do not want the paste to be too runny otherwise we cannot print a pattern 
okay and for boiling point sometimes some of them are low 100 for water some of them are very high like this terpeno above 200 or acetylene glycerol acetylene glycol they are much higher we can use terpeno like for screen printing which is very commonly used doesn't clog the screen doesn't it dry too fast flash point that gives you an idea of safety right the, those with flash point very low you'd better be careful a flip of the switch you may cause a spark if you have a tremendous tremendous amount of vapor you may cause an explosion make sense so all these are considerations the most common one people use we list some of them here water methanol ethanol isopropanol which is we short for ipa butanol acetylene glycol glycerol here we provide the chemical formula acetone mek messy acid ketone terpeno uh, trichloroacetylene. acetylene of course the list go on and on sometimes just may not be too much difference between using one solvent versus the other in those cases you use those that are cheaper more environmentally friendly make sense whenever possible use water but if water doesn't give you the re desired result for your specific application you have to use organic solvent as we mentioned for screen printing you just have to use terpeno quite often and for a lot of battery early days battery processing people are using mek for battery electrode okay to to disperse to to for their casting purpose okay